Well, hello everybody, how are you, how are you? Yes, my name is Wayne, and you're still watching Inside Film, and you wanna know where I am today? First of all, I'm on the second level, the Pine Gallery. And why? Because they're having another one of their famous art shows with the grand opening. And I have a feeling this guy right over here might be the one who is involved. What's your name, sir, are you the artist? Yes, I am. What's your name? Noel Piabia. Wow, you take a couple steps back. Uh, I just, uh, you, you're just checking these out to make sure that they're all hung right, which they all are. Tell me, how long have you been doing uh, artwork, if I may ask? Probably more than 35 years. It's all a little while right now. Yeah, it's been a long time. Is this one of your first shows, perhaps? Uh, what do you show often? Probably the fourth one. Have you been in Fair One before, by the way? Uh, first first time. Well, welcome to Fair One in the Pine Gallery. You know what? Follow me. Come on, go, you walk in front of me a little bit. I always like to get a chance just to chat with the artist a little bit. Because we get a little bit of a better idea about what they're doing. For example, I got to stop here. One, I just love the frame, but tell me a little bit about this one. Stand on the side. Yep. Actually, I want to tell me about this. Yeah, this is a painting from uh, Satterbrook by the park, and it was studied. I often walk by there and uh, make some observation on the subject. Always look at me. Yes, keep on talking. Yes, and the subject caught my interest and did some composition to it and uh, i got comfortable with the composition and and you know i think some of the hardest things to paint i've heard and seen is water and i think the way you're getting some reflection on that is really so cool it looks like most of your work is really outdoorsy nature kind of thing is, is that the feeling that i try to get into here a little bit yes uh matter of fact a lot of them are from outside from outdoors I, I like to uh, do the studies and uh, make a quick capture of the lights and the movements and get, get the essence of the life of the outdoors. You know, one of the things I've heard sometimes, I'm not sure how you do it, but sometimes I know people go to a certain spot and they just kind of paint there and they have that image in their head. Sometimes I know people actually sometimes like take a picture, like a little snapshot of it, go back to the studio and do it. How do you get involved? Or yes. maybe both ways? Sure. As I mentioned earlier, it's a little bit of a combination of both. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, it is. Uh, at times, I would uh, get my sketchbook and uh, get, get a quick uh, study with that and uh, just kind of look at the play and, and put it together. And I would sometimes do another session of that, another day, okay. visit that place. Sometimes you go back to it back and forth. I know a lot of yes. people do that. One of the things I'm really impressed with are the frames. They all look so incredible. And when I first came in, as a matter of fact, let's go over here for a second. Because as I was walking around a little bit, just before you got here, I noticed one frame that was, was just such a big standout. Stand next to it for a second. Okay. This, by the way, I love dogs, so this is fabulous. Tell me about the painting first. Go fast. The paintings is uh, formerly an um, employable artist. I used to work with this person and... The, do uh, the dogs employed you? Uh, no, the owner. Of course, I know. I'm just <clears throat> giving a light. And this is oil, by the way? It is indeed oil. All right. Tell me about the frame. Did you make this frame? I did make this frame. Oh, and, wow. Uh, it, it is a handmade frame that I'm happy about. So this oh, it's is, fantastic. So you are really talking about real wood. This is a real wood frame. It's amazing, I think. The fact that they're all, frames are really complete the look. I mean, I, the artwork itself, of course, is, is always the standout. But a lot of times the frame just gives it that extra feeling, I think. And every single piece that you have, you're like, come on out here, really has that feeling about it. They're, they're all different. They all have a special vibration for it. And I think it's really nice. How do you feel about having people look at your work, by the way? How does that make you feel? Uh, it's the first time that would have some crowded people here, I'm hoping. But yeah, it definitely. Well, so far the room is building up, so I know you're gonna have a crowd. Yeah, and so... thank you for getting a chance to chat with me just a little bit beforehand. Yeah. But I know it's always exciting to have a grand opening. Best of luck. Do you know how long the show's gonna run here? Uh, for about 
more than 15 days, I would believe, uh, you know, from this and the duration. Let me see if I could just ask somebody. No, you know what? I, I, I think I could be able to tell on the fly. I'll take that home with me. Sure. You want maybe an, a, a way for people to reach you? You got any contact information? I do. Uh, I would rather be vocal and call me at phone number. My phone number would be 201 I always would uh, respond to that. Give me the number one more time. They're running for that pen and paper to write it down. Yeah, yeah. nice and loud. 201-328-4001. Very nice to meet you. Good luck with your art career and good luck with your grand opening. We're going to let everybody know around here that Fairlawn supports art and their artists. Now, uh, you go get yourself ready for the show. And folks, you look for me. I'm coming around your neighborhood real soon. Until we meet again, my name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Fairlawn. Thank you.